Hey guys, it's time for Tetris! I need to... You guys ever wonder what Terry Lee Torok is up to? If, um... Sorry, that's kind of a deep reference to some of my uh, stupid hold videos. He was like the MC of the Nintendo World Championships and he shows up in a couple of different interviews and stuff. But he's the guy who's like shouting like a stupid, uh... A stupid game show announcer. I love him so much. And I wonder what he's doing right now. <laughs> Embodying your solar eager? That's good to hear. Um, as usual, I think I'm gonna warm up with some, uh, with some, uh, some CPU stuff. Ten Tetris line clears in, what is it, CPU battles? Okay. Get, get those tickets, feel good about myself for a little bit. You know what? We'll march on up to three right now. I think the thing is, no matter what, the AI will never be, uh, will never be as tough as goddamn people. Tony Dillis, thanks for the sub. We back at it though. Back at that grind. Let's get let's get those line clears, millennials. Are millennials already old? This isn't important. I'm already launching into the hard topics here, you guys. Uh, millennials might be old already. It happened quick. It's funny because like I, I see people joking about zoomers, but they're already they're already more important. Sorry guys. Yeah. It happened. Oh, oh, everybody's everybody's coming after the the king, huh? Better cut to the quick. Uh, I guess I guess not. I guess not. Never mind. I don't know. I I think like one of the funny. It's it's interesting because I've seen it in a couple of ways, and I've kind of theorized about this on the podcast and certainly the stream and everything like that. But I feel like everybody everybody is really happy as long as they feel like they're at the center of the universe. <laughs> And once people get old, um, and people stop giving a shit about you, and marketing stops telling you that you're important, then suddenly there's this, like, whiplash, where you get, like, it happens over the course of years, where you just get more more ignored, uh, you don't see yourself represented in, uh, in, like, cool stories to tell you that you have potential anymore. You just have to make do with kind of just being, being yourself. And I think after years and years of of being able to pretend like they have the potential to save the world still. Once you get old, uh, a lot of people don't adapt too well to that. They get resentful and, and bitter, and they start to hate the younger people who still have that. I don't know, just a theory. I'm dropping hard thoughts on you guys already, so... Get ready for that. Hard thoughts day. It's, it's Tetris, man. This shit in inspires some ideas. That's why boomers buy Corvettes. A little bit. I think it is trying to reclaim, like, relevance in youth. Uh, it's gonna happen to millennials, I promise you. It kind of already is. Uh, reboots? Just trying to relive your youth for the rest of your life. I don't want to do that, but it's also fun to do that, so... It creates a... It creates a weird predicament. <laughs> Can't deny the appeal. Trying to get them Tetrises, Tetris, because that's what the thing told me to do. So I'll do it. Anything for you, Tetris. All for the, everything for Tetris. Tetris. That wasn't very smart of me. with this. I keep thinking about what, um, we, we have, we have been graced with a Tetris master in chat before, who then promptly wiped the floor of, with all of us when we did a little community match, but he did say that I needed to use my whole piece more, and as much, as, as trite and, re as much as I wanted to reject that as a, a trite piece of advice at the time, I think he was right. He was very, very right. Turns out, people that know what they're talking about know what they're talking about. Weird. Weird. Hmm. Ugh, whatever. Also just... I don't know. I have the luxury of not needing to downstack very, very aggressively right now, but... It is something I do need to get much, much better at. Ooh! 
It feels good. It feels good, even when it's fake. I don't care. I don't care. Pure heifer, thank you. I see that I see that wall of cheers over there, thank you. Thanks for your support. I was thinking about Diva. I like Diva a lot. Is Diva the first like No, surely there have been What's the what's the most like Alright, another another heavy thought for chat. But really, I'm just gonna lean on you guys. Think as far back as you can to the first time a character was an influencer. Like, when that started to become something that wasn't only real in the world, but also then replicated in media. Hmm, I guess... I guess that... Hmm. For some reason, my mind is going to, like, World War II. I don't know why. I feel like there had to be some example of it. I guess Uncle Sam. <laughs> Uncle Sam was an influencer, right? He wasn't real though. But I guess Diva's not real, so... Superman seems pretty good. Captain America. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess they influence. Did they ever sell stuff though? And it's like, that wasn't the, the fixture of their persona. Like, they didn't... In 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 their reality or in their in their given canon or whatever, they didn't earn revenue by telling people what to buy. You know? That's close though. Close. Oh. Thought Uncle Sam was a real person for the longest time. I think you'd be you'd be forgiven for that. Yeah! MC Hammer told us we can't touch this. <laughs> Gertrude, thank you. Taz2, thank you for the Prime sub. Network Paladin, thank you for the resub. Yeah, Boxy, that's a big pog. Oh, beat CPU 69. Can't do it. Can't, can't. Can computers 69? If not, that's sad. There should be a Philip K. Dick short story about computers trying to 69 each other. Uh, homie Dillis, thank you. And Lucent Senpai, thank you for gifting out two subs. Super kind of you. Spreading around that L. Got a new uh, channel icon, which I now realize makes it sound like everyone's a loser, but that's okay. Ten doubles in Marathon. You got it. CPU69 is the first influencer? That sounds good to me. Uh, I ship it. shouldn't be saying shit like that. I think I might be too old for that. At what point can you, like... I guess this is a... more age-related um, generational divide questions, but at what point are you no longer allowed to, like... to say, like, slang. New slang. Because there's, there's a cutoff for that shit. Uh, no matter how cool you think you are, there's still a time when it's just like, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't ever do that again. Hello fellow kids shit. How many doubles did I need to get? I can't remember. When you have kids? Oh, so if you, if you're child, if you're our child free, you can say cool new slang forever? I guess that makes sense. Like, when I think about, I don't know, like, Henry Rollins, I'm like, that man can say whatever he wants forever, and it'll always be okay. Um, your room is oddly lit. Looks like a green screen. It's tripping me out. Yeah, that's just, that's just the depth of field. But here, check this out. It's very, it's real. Let me, let me walk into the green screen. Let me go into the... Whoa, ah, ah. Yeah, there's a whole dimension back there. I only know like two or three people my age who actually want to have kids. <sighs> I wonder about that. Tell us how you did, did that. Um, when I when I triggered it, I actually uh, thumbed over to a different scene in, OB in OBS that played a video of me doing that, so. Technical wizardry, my dude. <sighs> yeah, I wonder. I, I thought a lot about that, of like, if I didn't have video games, 
I probably would have had a kid by now. Only because I'd be like, I'd just be sitting around and I'd be like, I want, I want to try something new. Like, I want to challenge, I want to experience new things. And I th I'd be like, yeah, let's have a kid. I'm down for it. I'm not especially terrified by like all the, all the responsibilities. It really, I mean, I think like a lot of people, if I'm being honest, I don't, I'm scared of the, uh, the, uh, the change it would have on my lifestyle. And like, there's, to I guess even an even greater degree, there's a lot of stuff that I still want to do <laughs> that having kids sort of precludes from happening. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it's still a double, so it works out. But I can definitely see myself being like, ugh, I've read all these books. Screw it. Let's have a baby. Because I feel like it would be interesting to see a, uh, see myself mixed with another person that I love, to see that human being, like, grow and mature and kind of experience things in life for the first time. But when you live in an age of wonder, like, there's still so many things you can experience, so I don't know. To some degree, I feel like that is just being selfish, because I, I guess I am. If I really pushed for it, I probably could create another life on this planet, but at the same time, I'm also like, I kind of grew up in a household where I could tell my my dad specifically didn't really want me there. <laughs> like that was definitely I I could tell even as a kid that he he was resentful of the fact that he got he had he was pushed into having kids. And I was like, well, I don't ever want that. Oh okay, I can still save it. Getting that double, getting that dub. I really pushed for it. Yeah, sorry. Uh maybe not. It's not up to me, obviously, but... I don't know. Things that I think about. But that's something that I'm like... I guess that's... I don't know, I guess every parent has that, that fear, right? That's not new. The worry that you're gonna do exactly... Or you're going to repeat the exact things you never wanted to pass on. You'll just do it because... You don't... You're not in control, or... That's just the cycle perpetuating itself. I don't know. These thoughts might be a little too heavy. Is your relationship with your dad better now that you're an adult? Only, only because I know where the boundaries are, um, and to some degree, maybe, maybe this is sad, but I've sort of given up <laughs> on, on ever meaningfully connecting with him. But that's fine. I don't really need to. He, uh, he did a lot of good for me too. I don't want to make it sound like I'm extremely resentful of, of him or our relationship, but I think, I think a lot of the, the better things he did for me were kind of incidental, like. He taught me what I didn't want to do in life, but not necessarily what I did. But that's still helpful. Yeah, that's the other thing too. If I have a child, they they might rise to be the the they might rival me on the gaming battlefield. And I gotta I gotta have to bust my kid down a few pegs. That's... that's rough. We don't learn from the past and we're doomed to repeat it. Yeah. Yep. Turns out... turns out those things are true. Especially when people refuse to learn from the past. That's always fun. God bless the human race. And it's... dogged insistence on making the same mistakes over and over again. Yeah. I don't want anyone coming for my throne. Or... Maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way. A true champion is only a champion when tested. Perhaps I need to have a child for the only and sole reason that I can defeat them on the gaming battlefield and prove prove my superiority once and for all. Not even my spawn can can defeat me. That that makes sense to me. That seems like a reasonable thing to to do. I'll do the uh Gaming equivalent of like, to oh shoot! Gaming equivalent of tossing him off a cliff and seeing if he can climb back up. What's that? I don't, I don't know what that is. Beat Fortnite with a with a controller. Oh, plenty of people do that. Mm. Guys, what's a what's what's a what's a Roman equivalent of uh, of tossing your kid off a cliff and seeing if they can climb back up? How can I how can I prove that my child is, is worthy of 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 gaming royalty? 
Doom Ultra Nightmare? Okay. Yeah, that seems fair. What, at like, what, age six, you think? Seven, maybe? Tossing a coin to your Witcher? I guess that's true. That means that kid's gotta get a job. Man, that's the other thing too. Good God. And this is maybe something else that terrifies me is, what happens if your kid's just a damn loser? <laughs> I'm sorry to put it that way, but what if your kid is just a fucking boner? Like, what if, what if he or she just refuses to get a job, refuses to, just refuses to do anything? And you're like, well, I got a boner-ass kid. Like, I wished, I wanted to be proud of my kid, but my kid's just a damn boner. He sits around all day, doesn't do shit. And like, I'm his or, I'm their parent, so I gotta sit here and pay for their shitty ass, but... Ugh, I don't know, man. What do you do? You just scream at them, and then they hate you, and then they don't still don't do anything. But until they're 18, and then, and then what do you do? Kick them out of the house? Maybe? And then they go, like, they go with their loser friends and just smoke weed all day, and, and it's just like, God damn it! I worked so hard on your dumb, lazy ass, and this is how you repay me. Like, I can feel that right now, and I'm not even a parent. Um, just being like, you, you asshole! I spent, I worked so hard to put you in this goddamn world, and you can't even get a job at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Too real conversation for you? I'm sorry, Quint. <laughs> I don't know what side of that com or that what side of that equation you're on, but I really do feel for for parents that are just trying their best, and they just get a loser ass kid. I feel like that, and like I don't know. I uh, I also have maybe I'm being a little a little too permissive sometimes, but sometimes I do feel like uh, like if there's a movie and there's a kid that's crying or whatever, I'm like, yeah, kids do that, or like an airplane, you know, like. You can't control your child, uh, depending on how old they are, but... Good lord, what are, are parents just never supposed to go anywhere? And that's what's terrifying to me, is a lot of people think, yeah, if you have a kid, you should s hold yourself up at home, lest your child ever inconvenience anyone in the smallest way. And that, that shit, I'm just like, ugh, I definitely don't want to be with any of that. Damn. I'm interested in the fact that firm punishment is taboo now. I don't know about that. It depends. I guess it depends what you think firm punishment is. And that's boy. That's the other thing. Having to deal with other parents and their goddamn opinions about anything. Ugh. Being next to goddamn Karen talking about how vaccinations cause autism or something at the PTA, and I'm just like. Ugh. Good, you need to have kids conquer the world for you after you're gone. But what if what if I conquer the world and I give it to them and they waste it? Life is tough. Almost 30 working on bachelors, but I was aimless in my 20s. Sometimes shit takes time. That's true, Paul. I think about that um, with my... I was not the coolest child. And sometimes I try to cut my parents a lot of slack with that. Is that... It, I probably wouldn't want to be seen in public with me when I was like ages 12 to 24. So, hmm. Had that exact situation with my friend, whose parents seemed to be trying very, very hard to elevate them. Turns out they would only focus on certain areas of his development or emotions. If he tried to express that he needed anything else, they would ignore it. So it's possible to try your best but neglect a child if you're being blinded by preconception. He became a druggie and a washout, and he's finally his own parent, and he's better. Man. I see what you mean about um, things taking time, though. I don't. I don't think I. I started. I would say in the track of my life, I don't think I started becoming like a, a pretty decent human being or started becoming the person I am now until I was like 24, and that was just the start. I don't think I. I really mellowed out until I was like 29, 30. Ugh. But at least I had a job and stuff, so. That was me a couple of years ago. All I did was get high with my friends and play games all night. Got a bit of an epiphany. Now I'm training to become an EMT and make my parents proud. Oh, Akaban. Congratulations. Or Asaban. Uh, congratulations, man. That's That makes me really happy to hear. I uh, I feel such gratitude towards my parents now that I'm older. And I can, uh, I can kind of get some distance from it. All right. The fun stops here. Um, two T-spins. I can do that. 
Parents let their children roam is just dumb. I worked at a party city during college and this lady let two kids roam the store. They collected 50 pounds of candy and garbage into a cart that I obviously wasn't going to be bought. Mom didn't even care one bit. I did an hour to closing the store to put everything back. Good parents matter. That I agree with, man. I mean, I worked at a GameStop. Luckily, it wasn't a mall GameStop, but we still had parents that treated it like a daycare. This is crazy. I'm 30. My girlfriend just broke up with me like four hours ago because she's scared. I don't have a career lined up, but I do work all the time. It sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That, yeah, that does suck. Uh, well, if she, if she wasn't willing to sort of stick around, then you're better off. Uh-oh. I gotta get one more, though. Get that. Sweet, sweet can. Why is everybody attacking me all of a sudden? What the hell's what the hell's your problem? Hey! What's your problem? God, fucking shit. I need people to not be attacking my ass. To be able to set up these teaspoons. Which is quitter talk. If I were if I were good at the game, I wouldn't. God, somebody's. Ugh. Leave me alone. Okay, I think I finally shook him. Got AKO out of it. I'll take it. I don't think I'll be able to to have such meandering deep conversations now that I'm playing against real people who are much much better. Okay. Oh, I don't don't. No, oh, don't attack me. I gotta. T spins, bro. T spins, bro. All right. All right. Stop. Leave me alone. Bad moves, okay. Ugh. Okay. Uh, uh, the problem is I don't have... I don't have the galaxy brain to set up T-spins, like, without looking at a blank field, so I'll, I'll just keep playing and see if I see if something pops out at me. That's not gonna work. I mean, that is kind of a T spin, though. Uh, let me think about this. What does it need to look like? Uh, I think I need one more stick piece. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here it comes. T-spin! Bang! Yes! Mission accomplished. It's weird to do things like... I mean, I guess it does incentivize you to learn the game's mechanics, but it still feels weird to me when they, like, ask you to do maneuvers like that in a multiplayer game instead of people. Stupid. Mm. 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 That's the other thing that I'm slowly wrapping my head around is how to like stack pieces based on what's coming up in the next few pieces so that I can leave options open instead of closing them off. That's such a fascinating thing about like 
you can stack in a certain way that gives you more potential as opposed to making it so you're locked into only needing certain kinds of pieces. Kind of like that, a little bit. People attacking me right now. This is weird. Get some chaos out of it. That's fine. <sighs> okay. That was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? 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 Yeah. Yeah. That was dumb. That was dumb. No reason to do that. That was dumb. Keep, uh... <sighs> keep going with, uh... I keep clicking into, like, marathon mode. I gotta keep... Keep getting those lines down. Yeah, exactly, Zach. Um, I noticed that. It's like, hmm. Putting a big ol' L on everyone that subs is maybe not the best idea, but there it is. There it is, I've done it. Hmm. Tetris emojis? That's not a bad idea. Well, maybe I should work on that. Look at Kyo with his, like, solid brass T-piece. Damn. Nice top 10. Yeah, I can get top 10 most of the time. How far are you in Monster Hunter? Uh, let's see here. I'm in Iceborne content finally, and just it, it, with the help of with the help of the boys who were much more leveled than I took down the barrier off. So now, after that, it's like I have to do the thing where I find um, I find uh, footsteps for some other big thing, and then there's two more hunts of things that I don't remember the names of. Erda Cooper, thank you for the resub. Good to see you again. DHL loves nachos. Thank you for the resub. That reminds me, there's a package on the front door I have to get before anyone steals it. Uh, so hold on. I'm gonna go do that. Um, playing as our favorite autistic Japanese guy. Oh, Snake Adams! You're playing Metal Gear! Nice! <laughs> the music is so hype, all the conversations are super real, I don't know what to feel. I need to stop having, um, uh, I need to stop getting so real all the time. Okay, so yeah, let me go grab it before, uh, Busca comes and scoops it up, so I'll be right back, guys. What kinds okay, of guys. things they can expect? Oh, wait, and wrong, so wrong camera, hold on. This is the, uh... The official reveal, I got uh, Batman slippers for um, for the Batman reading. They got little they got little ears on them. So I hope they fit. I guess all they have to do is go over the tips of my feet. Also, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Hold on a second. There, thank God. Thank God somebody didn't steal it. Uh, three Tetris line clears and a single Tetris 99 online battle. Okay. Back in. Um, oh wait, I forgot to, dang it, I forgot to change my theme, hold on. Please don't stop being real, the conversations are great. Well, that's good, okay. I know that some people, uh, some people just wanna, some people just wanna hang out. They don't have to think about heavy stuff done any of the new Eden Raids of Ruby weapon yet. No, uh, Viscera, I am... I am not... My item level's not high enough. Ah, what the hell? I am so burpy. When is the, ne when is the Batman reading? Uh, probably Friday after this Friday. So, next Friday. Because this Friday I'm traveling to Boston to go to PAX East for a day or two. <sighs> Alright. This, this one will be better, I'm sure. Can we do something dumb? Yes, you can. I don't know what it is, though. All the good name taken. Thank you so much for the resub. Two months already, you're the person I watch the most. Ooh, thank you. Tacking those hours onto twitch.television. All right, I need, I need a tet, ooh, well, that's not gonna do it. I need Tetris line clears. 
Fair. That means I do have to play in, like, marathon mode for a minute. Was it three? I think it was three. I'm gonna say three. I hit a rotation button. Hey! Somebody hacked me! I got hacked! Why are y'all hacking me like that? Not cool, Tetris. Hack a guy like that. Why you go and hack a guy? I'm filing this with the Tetris Commission. You guys are gonna be in so much trouble. How long has it been since you said that out loud to somebody? You're gonna be in so much trouble? It's been a long time for me. There's, there's a time when suddenly the world stops working like that, you know? I guess also the language just gets a little more colorful when you're, when you're an adult. If you're trying to intimidate somebody. Damn it! That was the wrong L piece. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. No! Whew. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, all right. I didn't... Stop paying attention. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. I'm gonna switch over into more, more of a survival tick. That's a lot of nuts. This is it, guys. Maybe this is it. This is a big win. Oh, oh maybe not. Oop. Whoa. Shit. Oh, that was, that was all bad. Everything about that was bad. Damn it. Oh. 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 Oh, Lord. Wow. Okay. Ugh. Fuck. Man! Really? Ugh. Fuck. 
The ice maker just dropped a load of ice and it freaked me out a little bit. I don't know why they decided to leave me alone. I'd be dead by now if they were still picking at me. Uh, fuck! You! Oh my god, I'm just getting the worst. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Uh, no! Uh, crap. Uh, that's it, I think. Damn it! <laughs> Every time it's pieces that I can't possibly use. Jeez. I got such a raw a raw series of uh, pieces there. Mmm. I don't... I gotta figure out how to deal with that stuff. Maybe it's just like I gotta get... I gotta open my mind. I gotta ex uh, expand my horizons. Will you ever play Welcome to the Gam? Um, I played it a little bit at Funhouse a long time ago. It was okay. I don't know. Maybe there's like a, uh... Oh, you turn on emote only for a little bit? Okay. I'm thinking about reading the Austin Powers novelizations. That's not a bad idea. Again, I'm not technically allowed to do that. Um... Chat voted for it? Oh, okay. That's a cool idea. No, I didn't... Of course I didn't notice. I was too busy getting my ass kicked. Oh. Uh I'm telling you guys, someday I'll be good at this game. And it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna hit go live and then world economies will shut down because of how good I am at this game. I'm gonna get wins on wins on wins. I'm gonna get sponsored. Mixer's gonna poach me. I'm gonna make some really weird hot takes about being a champion or something. Being a pro competitor. That's what I'm gonna do. And it's gonna be rad. Why did I do that? I didn't intend to. I was trying to hit the button for the next one before it was had actually popped into the field yet. Hmm. I think I also waste a lot of time just, like, instead of just, just like, not moving and then deciding where piece will go, I'll, like, move the piece around until I decide where it needs to go, which means I have to move it longer to get it back to where it actually ends up dropping. So maybe I can save some time by just like, if I don't know where I'm gonna drop a piece, not moving it until I do know where I'm gonna drop it, if that makes any sense. That's a lot. How did somebody generate that much, that attack? Holy fuck, man. I don't understand how, how somebody did that. And I'm gonna lose. All right. Because I just, I didn't get exactly the right piece I needed. How, I need to count that next time and be like, how is that possible? Um, playing today, got a war planned. Uh, now I'm playing this for a little bit. And then I'm going to I'm going to cash out. I'm going to I'm going to rob the bank. I got uh two I do not speak German velvet. No, I just inherited it. Um my last name that is. Then I got a 2 hour raid Shadow Legends stream getting that getting that raid money, playing meme game, which um despite the utter saturation of it on YouTube and stuff like that, it's actually not that bad. Um it's a mobile game. It's for sure a mobile game, but it's not bad. I played it. I played a lot of games like it, and I actually kind of like those games. It's almost. It's basically like um, it's like Final Fantasy on crack, really. Um, it's the uh, it's the grim dark future of uh, turn based RPGs. But um, and then and then and then it happens. Uh, 
It would be happening already, but for the fact that I'm gonna get hella paid in a little bit, but... Um, Stephanie's out of town right now. She is traveling. She has a vacation in Hawaii. And in the meantime, I'm gonna do nothing but play The Witcher 3. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna transport into the world of Skellige and Velen and be a real witch man. And I'm basically just gonna play Witcher 3 all week. Uh, until Friday, which is when I fly to Boston to go to PAX East and meet up with Stephanie there. So, busy week. Well, that's the itinerary for today. Tetris 99, then, uh, Bank that that mobile cash, and then uh, and then Witcher three. I've got some mods on deck to further trans transform and transcend the Witcher experience. Other fan favorite video game characters. It only seems fitting if uh, if Geralt is in every other video game now. What is it like? Monster Hunter, Soul Calibur. Um, I guess, really, those two are the only ones I can think of at the moment, but... But it only seems right that, uh, every video game character also be in Witcher 3. It's the, the video game multiverse. It's finally happening. See, I'm doing it again. I'm, like, just sliding a piece around to see where it'll fit instead of just using the extreme power of my mind's eye. Fucking Christ, like, where did all that damage come from? Luckily, I, I had a stack ready to, to, to deal with it, but... Damn, dude. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta come, that, come on that hard. You ain't gotta, bro. Bro, have you tried chilling? Have you tried vibing? Give it a shot, bro. You might like it. Oh dear! Boy, did I ever luck out with that. Thank you. Thank you, noble warrior. Thank you for perishing on the Tetris field for my benefit. I think the thing I'm learning is I don't want S pieces or, uh... I don't want S's or blocks in hold, so get them away if I can. T pieces, uh, L pieces, and certainly lines are a lot more valuable if I get a piece that I can't put anywhere. A lot more uh, versatile, I guess. Better word. So maybe I need to also start prioritizing clearing less usable pieces out of my hold. I could see, I could like feel it coming. I was like, this is bad. It's, it's nah, nah. I'm just, I guess I'm starting to feel the lo losses clump coming before they hit, which is something. No, Jamal, no worries. Thank you for watching. Uh, Nathan and Angle, thank you guys for the cheers. Yeah, almost a double damage. It wasn't enough because I couldn't actually clear the shit. 
acquired the rights for another thing for you to read? Oh yeah? Send it over! I'm sorry, I haven't read the first, I haven't read through the first screenplay you sent, but... Very excited for that. Um, I think, I think that'll become a regular fixture. You ever have a broken controller? Of course! All the time. Does Twitter TOS prevents you from smashing all that poon in Witcher? No, it doesn't. Um, it's weird, the, the Twitch TOS is right there, and it's pretty explicit about what you... <laughs> Jabal, you love Twitch now? Yes! Uh, it's pretty explicit about what you are and aren't allowed to do, and nudity and sex are allowed. They just can't be the fixation or the focal point of your stream. So with something like Witcher 3, um, once broke a curl on, uh, controller on stream and claimed I was fixing it? I thought I did fix that one. Did I not? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you can, you can, you can see sweet bones on Twitch. You just can't repeat them over and over again. Like, that can't be the reason you're streaming. Which I think is a is a extremely reasonable uh, policy to have. I feel like, now that I'm playing this game more, I am getting sort of a, a sense for the, the rhythm of the game. Because it, kind of like an actual battle royale, it does have phases. There's like a phase where you can just sort of build your stack without being interrupted. Which I guess would be like the gathering phase in a, in a uh, typical battle royale. There's the phase where you go on the offensive, you feel like you've, you've got enough resources that you can try to kill another player. There's the phase where you were gathering, but now you have to stop because somebody started attacking you. It's really interesting. I don't know. The more I play this game, the more I, I truly am fascinated just by the how tight the design of it is. Too wacky. No, oh, I should be able to clear that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I guess that's the thing too, is like... Uh, fuck! Crazy Tetris gods for giving me the actual red pieces I needed. Oh, maybe not. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Fuck. Uh, two blocks in a row, that's awesome. Oh! Didn't think it was gonna rotate over there. Ah, uh, I thought it was gonna... I thought it was gonna be one block to the right. Sometimes I get tripped by that. Of like, hitting rotation once and thinking it's gonna be in a different spot than it is. 
Foo. Let's play this game for an hour or two. Real life seems how it seems slow by comparison. Yeah? Once you start, once you once your brain starts tickling. Dr. Full House, thank you for continuing your sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, I this is the like second or third time now when whenever anyone starts attacking me, I have real trouble clearing it out because I have my own shit on top of everything. I feel like once once garbage slams into your queue, you have to really switch gears immediately. Like right away. To start down stacking. Uh 320, you're gonna do Doom or Animal Crossing first? Doom. Absolutely Doom. I mean, I'm doing a I'm doing a drunk stream for Doom. And we have some cool ideas. I say we. Mystery guests. Yeah. Uh Drunk streams are here again, and it will be on, uh, it will be on Doomsday, which, why don't they call it that? I think they do call it that. I think they called it Day of Doom before. Um, the only other thing that kind of occurs to me that I don't quite understand about the game's mechanics is, and somebody had asked about this before, is what, okay, what determines um, how quickly the pieces from your garbage queue move into your stack, um, or into the well? That I do not know. And because sometimes it seems like you have all the time in the world, other times it's like you get to drop one piece and then they're they're, they're in. Um, uh. when you're just piddling around and not doing anything and someone has the incredible politeness to just die for you. Super nice of them. KO and that's it. I guess I haven't really been making any money moves either. Oh, because I'm on attackers too. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Gotta get off that. I'm dead. I cannot... Well, hold on a minute. Now I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. 
No, I'm dead. Okay. Ah, uh, yep. Shouldn't have targeted that guy. I think that's... That seems to be, like, when you get those huge attacks, it's because somebody's getting targeted by a million people, and then they directed at somebody, but it, it feels like a lot of those times... Yeah, switching to KOs killed me at that point. How many moves are you thinking ahead when you place a block? It depends on the situation. Um, I would say at max, I can probably think one piece ahead right now. Just from watching you, it seems like you get three drops from the time garbage is queued, and unless it'll kill you, then you get some bonus time. Huh, okay. That's an interesting mechanic. Collapse of the economy through your pro tetronominoing tetrano is already happening. The market's had a terrible day. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the uh, coronavirus. It was all me. The Tetris economy is crashing because of a exceptional player that, through for reasons unexplained, has yet to win a, a first place. At least in recent days. I've, I was able to get a couple of firsts back when this game was fresh, but man, people are just so much better at it now. It was crazy. I kind of, I, I was like, yeah, I think I'll get good at Tetris 99. That'll be my Twitch game. That'll be my Twitch multiplayer game. I remember being alright at that. People like watching it. Good god. Time passes and people get so much better. So, gotta play a little catch-up. It's the name of the game. Nobody gets to be Twitch champion for free. Die already, damn. Thank you. Just gotta ask. Just gotta put your will into the universe and let it be known. I'm gonna try to stream a little bit when I'm at PAX. I'm gonna take a... Actually, I'm gonna buy a, a Surface tablet. And then hook that up in the hotel room. Maybe bring my Switch? Should be a pretty simple setup. Get some, get some Tetris W's in the hotel. On that Marriott Wi-Fi. Oops. Where, how the real gamers play. Entirely out of pocket. Plus, man, the Twitch game is rough. I'm, uh... It's happening. The, um... The bleed-out of, like... Had a lot of goodwill leaving Rooster Teeth, obviously, but... Now that it's kind of settling down, kind of sobering, the, uh... The effort and the amount of, uh... The amount of hours you gotta put in to get something sustainable.
but you're doing it all playing video games, so like, you know, there's worse things in the world. What are the video games you really like? It's just interesting how like once you once you sort of uh, achieve nirvana, basically, of like being able to pay your rent and bills off of streaming or playing video games all day, but you have to do it every day or that shit falls apart. Then, like, it's it's weird the color and tone. It starts like shit. Please, I really want to pocket that. So it's like weird. You can pocket a stick, but like if you can't you can't drop it right away. Then what good does it do? That was me getting a little greedy. Probably didn't need to do that. Or wait, wait for the the pristine clear. Whew. Oh baby, he's got full medals. thing I gotta get a lot better at is knowing the lock-in timer. Mm. Uh, you shit, you shit, you shit, you shit, I'm gonna die. Huh. Well played, sir. What? Fourth? Yeah. Damn. Damn it. Bought Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild a couple days ago. They're arriving this morning and loving Odyssey so far. Yeah. Those games are both super, super good. Um, Breath of the Wild is tough. Every time I think about it, it feels so good. I think you might be playing against bots. Bots are not this good. Um, I mean, I guess bots could be this good, but... I don't know, this this dude up here, maybe he's just not getting attacked, but... Uh, Shrey Lord, thank you for the Prime sub. Genghis Tron, thanks for the raid. YSR Games, thank you for the sub. Thank you, guys. This is a new skin for the game. They've added a lot of skins. Um, uh, you, there's like a whole ticket system now. They, they've been slow, they've been updating this game. So like, every day there's missions, basically, to do, and then... You get tickets, and then you can spend those tickets on different themes. Uh, Donkey Kong, they got a Zelda. There's just like different non-game themed themes. Spooky theme. I guess Twitch bit theme. <laughs> and then they have a paramium themes. Uh, they have a Splatoon theme, a Fire Emblem theme, and then a Kirby theme. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, and Dead Penguin. I was up late last night. Uh, after I, I basically decided that I put my... Uh, I decided that I had a good stable um, encoder setup, which... Nobody's complained about flickering video or flickering frames, so I think I'm good. Um, I uh, I decided to, to revamp my sub icon, so get spooky next. Yeah, actually, what's with the me getting next? I'm gonna let Twitch chat decide. I think once I have enough tickets, I'll um I'll put up a poll. What's Invictus? Good question. 
So, um... Um... Hey, you know how, like, in, in Fortnite, there's, like, a Victory Royale, um, there's Chicken Dinners in PUBG. A Tetris Invictus is a victory in Tetris 99. And there's also the Invictus League, which you can only play in if you have a single victory in Tetris 99. So it's basically, like, Master Mode or whatever. Yeah, good old Fire Emblem. Yay! Yay! Fire Emblem! Why can't everything, everything be Fire Emblem all the time? Because then the world would be too perfect. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves anymore. It'd be like uh, Death Stranding, where people freak out because there's no more work to do. Oops. Boy, that, that is not helping me out at all. Even a little bit. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. Fuck it. How about that? Change it off for randomness. Also, I keep forgetting to play good. A bit of a whoopsie on my part. Sick. So I feel like, hmm, I feel like I waste a lot of time. When I'm at the bottom, like just cleaning up when I don't need to. Like I don't need a I don't need a pristinely empty well to start stacking up again to start building up attacks and things, so. Tetris for you, baby. It all works out. It always works out. Everything's fine here in Tetris land. Shit, man. Ugh. Ugh! Fuck! Oh my god, I buried it so hard.
It's so weird, yeah, like... Also, the direction you're rotating a piece really affects the way it moves around and whether or not you can... Sh like, make it jump up on things or not. Crazy. Was close. Managed to stave it off for a little bit. Jesus Christ. Perfect combination of pieces. Thank you, God. Why are people so mad at me? Stop! Leave me alone! Uh. That is not what I wanted at all. Great. Cool. Jesus Christ! Ugh! I think sometimes when that happens, if like, if, you, if it's late in the game, people start looking for specific targets to pick off, and, and then that's when like, I kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Play Final Fantasy VII, you got it. You got it, let me load it up right here. Let me load it up. Alright, we're playing Final Fantasy VII now. Uh, but I installed a mod where uh, all the fights and all the dialogue and all the cinema scenes are Tetris, so hopefully that's okay. I do want to go back to 7 before Remake comes out, but I may not have time. I would hate playing this. Why? It's hard. Yeah, it's very, very hard. That's the thing about multiplayer games is like, no matter what, uh, there's somebody better than you. You'll never beat a multiplayer game. I like, I like beating games. I like the finality. I like feeling like something's done. I don't know why I did that. All of that was dumb. Dumb, stupid, and wrong. Ugh. God. <sighs> Garbage has pieces. Stop it. Stop. Fine. There's certain situations that keep happening and I don't know what the right move to, to like get out of them is. Like it if I if I can only cover up a hole that I'm trying to... Uh, trying to get to. What do I do? I guess in that situation you have to look at the pieces that... It, like, what do I do now? What do I do? I guess I gotta look at the next few pieces and decide what I can efficiently stack with. Fuck! Uh, I guess remember that... Not every single... It's not every individual move that has to be pristine, but... Play cleanly in totality. Just techniques.
bone pile here. Uh, it would help if I didn't do that. It is nice that that's all my fault now. Like, I can't blame that on the controller or anything anymore. Boy, oh boy, those Joy-Cons are not... Not for the professional. Uh, uh. The discerning gentleman. Also, is, is Joy-Con its own plural or not? I don't know. Ugh, why did I do that? Why do I do anything? What's the point? Who are we? What are we doing here? Why do I need to make these blocks go? I need to, though. I think at some point, playing Tetris, everyone gets extremely existential. Time I start looking up some some hot strat videos on YouTube or something. I don't know. It's weird. Like all one of my favorite things about playing a game is just under my own intuition, learning about it and developing techniques just through the course of natural play. But I feel like that just doesn't apply to multiplayer games. There are edges that you can take that will increase the velocity of your improvement and other people are using them and you're not, then, you know? And why did I swap? I thought it was the other one. Okay. I guess that's another reason why I really like uh, single-player games. The, the challenge in them is kind of intentionally crafted to work that way. And maybe, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it's not that I like them, I'm just more used to them. Perhaps it is just familiarity. Awesome. A green, a green, a red, a red. Good. Four S pieces. Smorgasbord of a ass. Holy fuck. Holy fuck! How many of these pieces are you gonna give me? Absolutely ridiculous. Looks like I gotta call the Tetris police again. Phone's ringing off the hook today. I have to drop like that. The second. The second the world wants to murder me. Dude! Ah. It comes on so fast. Do you want any unsolicited advice? Uh, I don't want to backseat you or know you. I genuinely enjoy your analysis of the game. You make conclusions about Tetris that I never have. That's why I love watching your stuff. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll try to receive it all constructively. I know that I've gotten a little testy about that in the past. Um, there's just, uh, I think, um, like, text is always a rough medium, you know? But, uh, I, uh, I will try to, uh, to experiment. I think, um, I think, uh, diving into my own head is not helping me improve any. We need, we want Fortnite? Yeah, I gotta get, I don't know. 
I think I missed the boat on Fortnite. There's a lot of like, and like Escape from Tarkov, there's a lot of games where I'm just like, if I tried to learn it now, it'd just be, ugh. Most help intention messages can come across very critical. Yeah, especially if you're in the mindset of already being, uh, Anthrax Bees, you're correct. Especially if you're in the mindset of already being disappointed with yourself. And then somebody like, vocalizes, uh, maybe an insecurity or a disappointment you already have. Here comes the- here comes the juice! Boom. Super worth it. Again, I can I can be pretty good at Tetris if no one's messing with me. Uh, but then it's it's not Tetris 99. Noticing a repeated mistake where I will rotate a piece and assume that it's going to be in a certain orientation and then just... Oh, that was a mistake. And then just hard drop it. And... I'm noticing, like, as soon as I make a misdrop, then I get flooded! I don't... What the fuck, man? It ha... This has happened, like, the past several rounds! I drop one wrong piece and all of a sudden, bam, 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 bam! And I just get fucked! Ugh! God damn! I don't understand. Maybe it's. 
blood in the water? It can't be that quickly. It can't, like, nobody's looking that closely, are they? Hmm. Oh, Swiggums, yeah, Tetris Effect. I played that a lot when it came out, but, uh, moved on. But, yeah, I can go back to it. Uh, well, Josh, thanks for the Prime sub. It's... <laughs> I can't tell if there's supposed to be a cap on there, uh, Undead Penguin. How do you select your targets in this game? Uh, there's, there's two ways to do it. One is if you just use the left stick, you can manually target whoever you want in the field. Uh, the other way is the right stick. Uh, it has four categories. Random, KOs, attackers, and medals. And those will, like, with some very rudimentary decision-making, pick opponents that fall into certain categories. So KOs are people that are almost dead. Attackers are people that are targeting you. Uh, medals are the people with the most medals in the match. And then random is random. So... Anthrax, yeah, high-level players will look at the field and find people that they can knock out. Um, I've, I've, heard, I've heard people that are really good at this game describe that. Namely, uh, uh, the Jube has, has talked about that. But I am nowhere near that level of competency at the game. I'm gonna allow myself to be a little proud about that. I actually managed to downstack through that pretty well. Especially at the end there. Had some pieces that weren't really working for me, but made it happen. I guess I can feel pretty good about that. That was probably a moment of, uh, of actual improvement at the game. Maybe not so much this, though. Uh, man. Uh, I wanted to rotate it! Man! Uh. It's not all lost yet. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on! Stop! Giving me uh. Stop it! Stop! Two in a row? Are you kidding me? Ah! Uh. Hurts. Circles we run. Thank you for the prime sub. Getting better? Yeah. 
it's just, it's tough because I feel like there's a hump. There's a huge hump that it's really hard to feel like you're progressing at all when you keep getting knocked out by the same thing. Um, man. Oh yeah, sorry, the, yeah, the channel point thing is a little confusing. That's okay, guys. One hour until I get that fat sack of cash from from Raid Shadow Legends. So everything's fine. Everything's fine when Raid TM Shadow TM Legends TM is loaded up on your phone. Day in the Raidberhood. That's what I always say. Let's see if I can get a let's see if I can get an Invictus in that amount of time, huh? Sometimes I'm like, I'm like, I just need this one piece. Don't worry. I got, I got plenty of time. Don't worry. Peace, 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 peace. Still waiting for that piece. It's just gonna show up any old time now. Keeps coming, keep... It's weird. I feel like it's, it's like, it's what, his bag sword, right? So it gives you all seven pieces, but the order is randomized, but it has to get through all seven before it goes to the next set of or seven randomized, which means that like the piece you need can never be more than 13 pieces away. Hmm. I guess that wasn't 13 pieces, but boy does it feel like a lot. Stop playing Raid Shadow Legends when I realized I was already spending a thousand pounds and my account was still not strong enough. Yeah, that's the thing, um, world premiere. With games like that, you will never, ever, ever win. That's, that's the point. There will always be something you can't do. And as long as you kind of make your peace with that and realize that they're going to leverage that notion to get money out of you, then, uh, then you can have fun. But, uh, yeah. I, I got I went through a few games like that uh, where it's like it's like oh I just gotta beat this boss and then I'll be done and then, no of course not there's a harder version of that boss um, so I'm sure I'm sure uh, well hopefully you had fun while you were doing it but it does require a bit of a, a mental shift to uh, to be able to enjoy those games without. Uh, without letting them get their hooks into you to, th to that degree. Yeah, I feel like I can I can notice a little bit of an improvement um, over like when I first picked up the game again. So I guess I should maybe I need to 
Uh, well, I need to not do that for, for starters, but also give myself a break considering the people I'm playing against. Well, I can only assume the people I'm playing against have been playing not only since the game came out, but a decent amount of time uh, before that. some time in on, like, um, Grandmaster Tetris and things like that, but probably not to the extent some of the people that I'm not. I just get shit-rocked by have. So, like, that was a weird situation. I, I don't know what to do in situations like that. Where the options are to further bury a, a gap you're trying to plug, or to create another gap. I guess, I guess it really depends on the pieces you have coming up and what what combination you can throw to, uh, to deal with it quickly and efficiently. Like that, at least I saw that I had a... Uh, I saw that I had a uh, appropriate piece coming, so I knew that it was a safe move to make. But then I get in situations like this, where what was a safe place to put all of my pieces now is completely unsafe, because that's what the gap is under. And that... That is a, 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 like, a twist of the game that I don't really know how to work my head around. I guess it just means you shouldn't stack up on any side, especially if you're getting attacked. Because what what is a safe place to dump pieces to, like, cycle through to get the one you want is can be not safe very quickly. Yeah, I don't... Uh. What do you do? What do you do? Microphage? Thanks for the resub. I'm glad you're part of the community, too. Ooh, Six God. It's an awesome name. Thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, oh, you like watching me play? I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I, I wish I could put on uh, a, a better showcase for you guys. I'm, I want to get good so that... I wanna, I wanna be even more mesmerizing um, when I play that hot, hot Tetris. Oh, extra V dreams. This game could be ten times slower, and I still wouldn't be able to catch up. I'm gonna getting that Puzzle Pirates game stream with Kraken and Bruce. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't take on setting that up. Let's see, I gotta, I gotta check out the new Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal TV spot. I don't know, I'm just ready for the game to come over, or the game to come out. My parents out of town, Doom, come over. There's a Doom Slayer. Doom Slayer driving real fast. Made mistakes. What the fuck is this? Who's doing this? What the fuck are you? Oh, I'm just getting attacked by a million people. Hmm. Oh, 
where to put any of these pieces. Because I was a dumbass. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Give me a cube. like four pieces just to have something that could go in that spot. Dang! Dang, y'all. That's what makes me wonder. Maybe I'm, I'm just missing uh, ways to clear out that stuff? Looking at the next piece, not. Oh, I was looking at hold. I was looking at hold. Oh dear. And I'm fucked. And I'm fucked. Yeah. This isn't something you have a problem with necessarily, but something you could help you in general. Part of being good at Tetris, which you are, is knowing what piece you use to fill a certain sized hole. Part of being great at Tetris is knowing what pieces can fill a hole. For example, you can fill a two by four with two squares. Or you can fill it with two of the same color S piece, L pieces or two I pieces. And to start thinking like that, a lot of options opening open up. Practicing a marathon helps. Yeah, I agree. I think I think I'm too fixated on on seeing the one piece I need and then and then skipping pieces until I find it. Uh, is that something that you just sort of develop a sense for over time? Because I feel like it's you have to match the setup with the combination of pieces. Like you have to just have that that brain chemistry to know that like when the stack looks like this you can use blap and blap to 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 get rid of it i don't know if that's something that like because there's so many op so many ways that the stack can can try and throw garbage at you um or that like so many problems you need to solve uh part of it is instinct yeah that's what i'm kind of i don't know if if this is a realistic hope or not also spaghetti pocket uh, this is this is my four giant we'll say that um I don't know how much I can expect to just kind of play, just just hammer out, just grind out matches and expect it to develop that sensibility. Or if I need, oh, I already lost somebody. Or if I need to like look up setups for specific combinations of bricks and really learn those or drill them into my head of like, when you see this pattern, look for these pieces or here's what to do when you get this combination of things. I don't know. Okay, thanks for not rotating, I guess. It's okay, I didn't, I didn't want you to rotate anyway, it's fine. It, it's 
It's not like I wanted you to rotate. Baka. Baka Tetris piece. Thank you for uh, for properly mas massaging my ego with your messaging. Uh, I I am trying a lot harder to, to not get uh, frustrated by anything. It's just it's not good. It's not good stream time, you know. Maybe not though. I know like some people I guess make their make their uh, twitch millions off of uh, flying off the handle all the time. Tyler, I guess. But again, I'm also speaking out my ass. It's not like I actually have ever actually watched. Oh. Oh, that's weird. I think I'm... I think maybe I'm hitting rotation buttons when the game is ignoring them? Which is not to say it's eating inputs. I think I'm just... I'm, I think I can... I think I'm expecting it to register inputs when it doesn't. Like when pieces are spawning or something like that. I gotta watch out for that. I was like, let's say that's disappointing. It's a bummer when you get like a cool combo set up and then somebody immediately hits you with a ton of shit so it doesn't even go anywhere. You just have to burn it to stay alive. Woo! Hello, what the hell is that? Oh, that I was looking at whole piece again. Like, what are these what are these attacks, man? I don't understand how there's just so much damage flying out. Great! Mmm! Man, I don't... Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <sighs> That's just how it goes sometimes. You look ten years younger with the cam pointing straight at you. Oh, I, I look old when I do this, but I look young like this. That's the power of good lighting, I guess. Major, major why I'm good at Tetris is the way I used to play because Marathon was too easy. What I would do is stack up the pieces and then make a platform where there were maybe three or four lines left, then I would try and survive. Fail most of the time, it is a lot more entertaining than Marathon, maybe pretty fucking good at Tetris. Uh, I'd recommend it because it's low stakes and fun. Yeah, I've, um, I, I'm getting a little bit better at that, of, uh, of playing near the top of the well, but that, that last time I think I hit up twice, like, one of those things where I hit up and then didn't really let my thumb off the controller. And then it registered another up because I let go just enough. To, and then pushed again that it registered as like a double drop. So that one was on, on again, on those fat fingers. Maybe that's an emote I could do, sausage fingers. It's like salad fingers, but you know, Tetris. when the internet was like salad fingers and a couple of a couple of flash videos from Newgrounds. That was the internet. That was all of it. There was nothing else. It's a bummer too because salad fingers guy probably didn't get any money.
Nö. Nö. Thank you for the reset. Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm I'm getting getting zoned out a little bit. I think I weathered that particular storm. Maybe. Metals. No! Whoop! Why they let me wiggle it down there?
Holy fuck. Oh boy, okay. Uh. Oh! Oh! I just had to outlast. Jesus. Drink it in. Mmm. 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 <laughs> ah. Oh, dude, Hoobajoo, thank you so much. Thank you for gifting all those subs, dude. That's extremely kind of you. Uh, thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> Brown me. Thank you for the cheers. Ah, Jesus Christ. I should, I should own that. I really should, but part of me wants to be like, I really lucked out. I really did. Killing that one dude at the end, that was the killer. Uh, Eve, thank you so much for all the gifts. Oh, it's very, aw, oh, thank you guys. Don't own it, you're gay? Okay, well, I gay. Come on. That feels good. Hopefully I'll do that more often. Sean, thank, oh shit, thank you guys. Aw, man, I gotta get better at video games. You guys are throwing money at me now. This is, uh, I am, s take a bow. All right, fine. All right, fine, hold on. Yeah, I'm about to take my fish oil, but I'll take a bow instead. Ah, ah, yeah. There we go. Uh. I feel like I, uh, pay to win Lawrence, yeah. I feel like I would, um, I would be a lot, I don't know, whatever, it's a win. A win is a win is a win, right? I feel like that's the other part of me when it comes to competition, is that I feel like it's not a win unless I had to fight tooth and nail for it. Is there a way to continue your sub with Prime before it expires? No, sadly there is not. Belong, belong Dong? I love your name now. Um, but yeah, they, they make it so you have to come back. Oh, Cedric Maximus, never mind. I'm sorry, Sponge Blake, I was wrong. Oh, hey, Hannah, good to see you. Yep, one game and one win. Those are my stats. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Maximus is a win. Invictus is like the winner's club. I envy people who don't feel guilty when winning. Yeah, Hungry Computer. It's such a weird and really dumb, uh, really dumb thing. But uh, I don't know why I feel that way. I guess it's just like that that thing of like you can't you should be able to own own your wins. But yeah, I think it was this this number four guy that handed me all of his medals and said, and said, go son, it's your time now. Uh, Saracen's Lament, thank you for resubbing. But thank you guys for all the generous gifts. That's that's super, super kind of you guys. Uh, man, what a day, huh? What a day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deposit those fat raid, raid stacks. Uh, play a lot of, play a lot of Witcher later. Okay, but first I gotta use the restroom. I'm gonna take a, uh, I'm gonna take a, a victory piss. I'll let you guys know how it is, so. Hmm. A little spring in my step. Alright, see you guys in just a second. Nice. Back at it. Wait. When did it stop? I don't know. Weird. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's what's, Mark Meadows, it's funny you bring that up. That's what I love doing is going back and watching, like, old video game CG. And then being like, oh, the game the game looks better than that now. <laughs> like Toy Story stuff. Thank you, Punch Rock Groin. Great name. Something that just occurred to me is, despite the fact that this is mostly a free-to-play game, you can't pay money to unlock the themes. You have to earn them with tickets. There's really no other way, I don't think. Yeah, there's no, like, buy... You would think for a game like this there would be a way to buy tickets or buy themes, but... All right, should I try it? Shall I do it? I'm gonna try... Not that I'm, not that I, maybe I'm feeling myself a little bit, but I'm, I've never tried Invictus before. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see how quickly I just get demolished. 
Oh, thank you, Easter Hands. Yeah, I, I put I put an amount of work into getting this uh, this whole thing. Oh, you never won Invictus? Oh my God, really, dude? Ugh. I guess it's not gonna. They're not gonna be as many people in this mode though either. Oh, they're gonna rock my shit. Uh. Oh. Damn. Does, and I guess it just fills in the rest of the 99 with bots. Wow, that then the the whole vibe of this mode must be totally different because you know that like you know all the AI that you can easily kill and, and farm up farm up medals, and then you just go after the human players once you're at max metal or something. Oh god, oh no. What's up? What's up, Jay? They're already killing me. Oh. Fucking oh god. <laughs> it's worse than I could have ever imagined. Holy shit, man. Oh, well, Cindy. I guess there were... Oh, well, 99 doesn't count, but... Once you get into the top 10, the pieces spawn on the bottom? What? How does that... I don't even understand. I don't even understand how that, how that works. Good lord. Alright. Back to, back to baby mode. Basically need a keyboard at that point? Oh, maybe, yeah. Ugh. Woof. That was just a test round? Yeah, I can try again. Man. That's what's so so humbling, man. You think you're good, and then bang! No, you're not! No, you're not! At a uh, at 224 on a uh, on a Monday, there's just 12 other people that are that good at Tetris just playing. I'm surprised when the game tells me 50 remaining. Yeah? Yeah, there's always somebody better, for sure. Somebody already died, though. Earth break. Earth break, dog. Holy hell. Calm down. Fuck, man. Someone's got, someone's got my... Damn! God. I don't understand. I don't understand, man. How somebody can just target you and and wreck your shit like that. Do you still have it set to Invictus mode? I don't, Mark. There's... Invictus has the five stars on top. Man, somebody was just like, I'm going to murder you, and then they did. Uh... How about that? Going from a first place finish to like 92nd. This would be your hero's journey if you won that easily. That's true. That's true. Man, that's that's crazy. Hoopa you still haven't you haven't won a single game of Invictus? Was that your first win? No. That was my uh fourth, I think. It was it was a lot easier to get wins back when the game was new. I was able to get a few that just like kind of I kind of walked into them, which again same sensation of being like oh that didn't count. The the bad thing is is that when I start thinking that way, then I'll do things that almost intentionally sabotage me if I could get a win. I'll be like well I don't, I don't want to get a win that way it wouldn't count, and I'll just completely uh, give away wins that I could have. I did that a lot. I I tried to get. I tried to get good at StarCraft 2. Ugh, I thought it, I thought it rotated. 
uh, back when it came out. And there were, I, I could tell there were a lot of matches that, there were points where I knew I could win, but I chose not to because I didn't want to win games like that, or it wouldn't be a fun win if I just took, took what was right in front of me. I don't know. I don't know why my brain's stupid like that. I remember too, like, when I was doing combat sports, I would I would take hits intentionally because it made the match more fun. Which it's weird because you know getting hit getting hit is not fun, it hurts, but it would still make it like more it would I don't know, I would get into the emotion of it rather than the technique of it. Into like the brawling atmosphere of it. And I had multiple teachers be like, stop it. Like you don't win fights by taking hits. And then I, I remember at one point I realized I was doing it and I talked with the instructor that I had at the time. And I was like, but yeah, what if it, what if you like want to get hit because it makes you, it, you feel like it makes you fight better? And he was like, yeah, a lot of people get that way. That's why we train that out. So you don't fucking get hit because that's how you lose. Um, so I feel like on some level I need to, uh, graduate to the ninja school of, of competition where I can uh, have the killer instinct in every game and also lose some of Oh, come on, man. I thought I had more time. Let's go. go down, please. Thank you. God bless people set to fucking KOs. You guys are gonna have a real bad day. They're not switching off either. Live. That's pretty impressive, actually. For the amount of shit I threw at these guys. I mean, they're not sending any attacks back, so I guess they're still dealing with it. Maybe they have a pretty generous peace timer. Man, that's crazy. I really didn't knock out that many people. Huh. I was like, oh man. All these assholes are gonna go down. Did not end up happening. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Thank you. 
through. the other piece. Kill each other, maybe, hopefully. Uh. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Wow! Holy crap, man! Wow! How did. Huh. That was, that was a huge hit at the end there. Damn! Damn! Oh, gotten a lot quicker over the past couple of streams. Oh, thank you. Keep going, so very enjoyable and satisfying to watch you progress. You're spending time. You are spending the time in a game I really want to enjoy, but don't want to put hours into. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting. Uh, I yeah, I feel like I'm getting faster. I don't know. Does that mean ten prestiges, or does that mean one prestige at level ten? I don't know what the star means. I guess I'll find out once I play a million times. Um, how are you getting different themes to your game? Oh, they're, um, they're in the game now. Oh, thank you, Hoobajoo. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they've been up, they've been updating this game over time, so now they have, there's a, there's like a ticket system, you have daily missions, um, and then you can use those tickets to buy themes, so, yeah, that is, there's actually, they've been adding a lot of uh, content and variety to this game, pretty cool. Compared to last week, just try to watch your VODs, you're a lot faster now. Yeah, I I think a lot of it is is sort of like remembering, because I used to be pretty fast. Like I said, I would play a lot of the Grandmaster. Uh, you're telling me Tetris 99 has received more frequent updates than Anthem. I kind of am, yep. Uh, Sir Top of Hat, thank you for the sub. Muchas apreciatas. I can't tell if that's racist to Spanish or to like Rome, who knows. Are you going to be in and out for a bit? Alright. Got a Madden franchise to run. It's important work. I can honestly say get more enjoyment out of your win than any number of mine. Uh, I guess I understand that based on what I was kind of talking about. Modly, thanks for the Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Um, this is going to be a weird question, but AV-wise, does everything look okay to you guys? Smooth, buttery frame rates and bright and clear picture? Because like I said, it's been a lot of yesterday fiddling around with my stream tech. 
pieces are so much clickier on this, uh, this theme. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Hopefully it's, it's, it's set for good now. I know, I mean, whenever you're in media production, that's... That's like the one thing you've gotta, like, get rid of is the notion that once something works once, it'll keep working forever. Boy, is that not the case, but... I think I got it now. I think I'll never have to touch it again. I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure that this is it. Pretty sure that this is it. Pretty sure. Can't really think of anything. That's always the fun thing, too, is like... Getting yourself out of the mindset that just because you can't think of any reason that something bad would happen doesn't mean that there is something you just haven't, have no concept of. Some dumb thing that is real excited to break exactly when you need it, need it to not break. Yeah, I think a lot of what's helping is, is getting to know the controller a lot better. Being more deliberate about button presses and things like that, too. Hammer these guys with a lot of small garbage. Look at Just give up at some point. Doesn't tend to happen, but maybe. Haha, <laughs> but maybe. This, this music sounds like you're in the coolest Russian nightclub. Okay, if you have to be in, yeah, that's a bucket list thing. Go to a Russian nightclub. That was, that was Sausage Fingers. People are taking turns. It's very weird. Hmm. 
Ah, ha, ha. That's an owie. That's an that's an owie, 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 owie. Wowie zowie. Crap. Oh boy. That one probably did me in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Damn. Yeah, that was that was that one piece. That one misdrop. I don't see the music video build over the Tetris theme about the rise and fall of the Soviet Union. Ooh. I'll fire, play Final Fantasy VII, you got it. Okay, switch over into Final Fantasy. I still got those mods installed though. Um, so it's gonna look and it's gonna look and sound a lot like Tetris. So here we go. I'm just gonna start a game of Final Fantasy here, and there we go. And here we go, Final Fantasy VII. Um Yeah, I, I still have my I don't know, Hoth, are you are you are you referencing, like, the the playthrough I had from a long time ago? The one with all the mods and stuff? Yeah, Cloud's pretty cool, huh? You guys, do you like, you guys like Cloud? He's a cool dude. Okay, yeah, Hoth, I, I do intend to go back to that. Square Sama, thanks for the, thanks for the, the, the gift there. Uh, I think... What I'm gonna start doing is, for games that I want to play, but there's, like... There's a there's like a, a, an event that I can piggyback off of. I'll have to wait until like the game is relevant, if that makes sense. So like with Final Fantasy VII, I'll pick that back up probably in the weeks leading up to remakes releasing, um, because then people are more inclined to click on it. You know, got to consider like what people want to see on top of just what I want to play. So if I'm gonna play old games and stuff like that, I think I'd have to tie it to. Uh, something, some kind of marketing event, something relevant. Oh, okay. See, how are these just big fucking slams coming from this person? Okay. Just intentionally target anyone else. Let off this guy for a little bit. supposed to do? Let's play Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, you'll have to wait a little bit, Undead Penguin. That is topical right now because my bank account wants it. Um, so, be there in just a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna only, only gonna play a few more rounds and then uh, and then I'll go eat some food and uh, prep everything for the, uh, the hot, hot raid stream. I really would appreciate it if you guys stuck around for that. I will be honest, uh, the kind of game that Raid is, I'll have plenty of time to talk with you guys, so we'll we'll just chat, you know? We'll have some deep spiritual connections while I uh, while I influence my ass off. But I would appreciate if you if everyone stuck around for that. I get it if you don't, man, I get it. But, uh this is how the uh, <laughs> Raid has pulled their sponsorship. We'll see, man. I don't think they really care as long as people install the game. They can't, they can't pull it from me. I want a Tetris today. Some kind of gamer bylaw that means you can't, you can't cancel sponsorships on somebody that won a Tetris. The Gamer Council has decided. Shit. Yes.
did not I did not do these things. Ugh. I, what also helps is just realizing that sometimes buying time is good. Sometimes simply not dying is the right play. Playing not to lose. Say, how are these guys dealing with all this garbage I'm throwing around? Ooh, maybe that's how. Oh, that was bad. That was very, very bad. There we go. One piece. One piece got me. There. Mm, denim carpet. Full metal wolf. Thank you. Thank you guys for the subs. Uh man. All right, last match, I think. Last match, and then raid Shadow Legends, which is weird. It's it, like I've said, I actually, I actually kind of enjoy the game because I played other games like it. But, uh, I didn't think it was going to be that kind of game. I thought it was going to be like a MOBA or something. It's not. When's the Tetris anime coming out? Oh, I wish. Isn't a high score girl basically that? Maybe not. Maybe not. What kind of game is it then? It's a uh, it's a turn-based RPG. Very similar to your uh, your Final Fantasies and your Dragon Quests. Except it's uh Well, you'll see. Like they make they make tons of metagames around like how you level up. Ugh. And how you like rank up characters and gate your progress in a million different ways. If um if you played Marvel Strike Force or Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, it's it's that. Um, which is fine because I actually really liked those games to a point. You can you can feel when the when the vice grip closes in on you. Uh, when the when the fun stops and they're like, nope, you pay now. You can feel it. Um, and basically, I, I got two and a little bit past that point in both those games. And I was like, ah, okay. But it was fun. It was fun in the meantime. I'm kind of okay with that. Free-to-play games that you just extract all the fun out of until... Until you hit the wall. weird though sometimes I feel like I'll send so much trash at somebody and I'm like man if, if somebody sent that at me I'd be dead but uh, people just don't die they, don't, they decide not to die
Okay, well, somebody did. That's nice of them. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, dog. You gotta be polite. You gotta be a good sportsman, you know? Knock someone out. Hey, thanks for that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's nice. That's nice. Dance floor. Oops. Get your way, Tetris. I'll put the piece where you want me to. All Tetris does is win-win. Damn, damn, the next piece was gonna be so good. Blarg! Oh, the next one was it. That was it, that was the next one. Okay, well. I had a lot of people on me too, so it was actually possible I could have climbed out of that. Ah, uh, well. Did you hear that Cyberpunk will provide a free update for the next gen Xbox? I assume they didn't say the name for PS5, because it'll be backwards compatible. Just we think CDPR, CDPR can't put other studios to shame anymore. Um, I think, I think that uh, that's probably gonna be the case for a lot of games. Uh, that there will be like texture packs and patches that that uh, that add higher resolutions or or stuff like that, unlock ray tracing. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I imagine that. So this is just my theorizing here, but based on the fact that CDPR, what was it, two E3s ago, three E3s ago, that they had their like big trailer at the end of the Microsoft conference, I'm guessing there's some kind of some kind of handshake there, like a promotional agreement. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I imagine that's probably why they announced it. Um, I don't know. Are we doing Witcher afterwards? Yes. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away from the stream for a second. I gotta set up some stuff. I gotta put out a tweet. Gotta gotta do some things. So, thank you guys for watching. So far, gonna be back with Raid Shadow Legends sponsored stream hashtag ad. But thank you guys for watching so far. I'd appreciate it if you stick around. And then, uh, and Witcher after. So yeah, Witcher after Rage Shadow Legends. So see you guys in just a second. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Watch this. Bang.